In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how to be more effective in your editing by switching in and out of the storyboard view in your editing area at the bottom of the screen. At the top left area, you have all your libraries and you can switch between the media room and the title room and the effects room and the transition room up here in the left corner. We also have the preview area in the upper right, and in the, in the center, in the bottom, we have our basic timeline section. Now, most of us, by default, just work in the timeline view, where you have all of your elements on different tracks. You can have up to 99 of them, all assembled together in a row in your timeline. I'd like to show you some of the times I found it's really useful to switch to another view. Uh, which is called the storyboard view. Now the timeline for most of us is default. That's the icon the arrow is pointing to here. Let me click to storyboard view and show you why sometimes that's really nice. If I'm back in the timeline and I need to add something to the end of my project, oftentimes what I need to do, my scrubber may be anywhere in the project. I have to move it to the end, make sure I'm exactly at the end so I don't have a gap, uh, and then I have to go ahead and I can drag my image down and lock it in and let it go and hopefully I move the mouse correctly. Let me show you a different way to do that uh, that saves a lot of steps and makes sure that one image is exactly against another or one video or audio clip. I'm going to go to my storyboard view and simply drag my little cap down here it will say, well, I want to go between this box and the next blank box and let go. And immediately, without worrying about positioning at all, it's inserted perfectly. If I want to add something on the other side of the cap, the easy thing to do is switch quickly into storyboard view. Uh, take this uh, video of feeding the ducks, drag and drop, and it will pop right in. And there I have it, perfectly aligned in order. Now sometimes you may say, well I want this one in front of the other one. The easy way to do again is switch into storyboard view, take it it'll, and drag it, hold the left mouse down and drag it. The red bar will appear and let go and now I've just reversed the two. So it's a real nice way in order for you to position items on your screen without having to move the scrubber, making sure that you're in the exact location. Saves a lot of time and worry. Let me give you another example. Let's say this is my project and I've been editing for a while and I, I had a piece of this lighthouse and it was, uh, it w I, I edited it and cut it and I made it very, very small so it's almost impossible to see. Let's change the duration down to, from uh, 12 frames way down to, let's see, two frames. Now I can't see it. And I've had occasions when I'm editing when I have something so small, just a slice of something, and it's, it's in my project and I need to do something with it, but I don't know what it is or why it's there or why, why the end of my project is here and not behind the cap. So an easy way to find those items is click to the storyboard view and there it is. It tells me at this location I have a lighthouse. It's only two frames wide. I can change the duration. I can make it bigger so I can edit it. I could uh, add it in minutes or I could just I'll click on OK or I could just say oh I don't want that and click on the trash can to remove the clip and now when I go back to my timeline view and I attempt to click on the press the end key to get to the end of my project. Now it says this is the true end of my project. So it's the the storyboard view, even if you don't work in it all the time, is a great way to uh, take your different components in any given timeline, move them around and adjust them and see exactly what's going on. Uh, it has lots of value more than just being the default area in which some people prefer to work in in huge projects, even for a short project, it can save you lots of time as you position and move items in your projects 
in CyberLink PowerDirector. Thank you.